All right, this is another um, exciter circuit that uh, G. Bluer, uh, Slayer 007, has come up with that's really very simple and very interesting. And uh, I replicated as best I could. I don't have the exact uh, coil arrangement that he has, but basically all he's done is taken a, a long coil here and wrapped some wire around that and gone through one transistor and then uh, using one of these uh, one AA cell phone charger um, battery sources runs on one AA puts out five and a half volts I've got something that is very similar to a sec exciter and we're wondering why this is all going on but you'll notice this neon lights up here And then it's got that uh, spatial cohesion that we've looked at before where this, all around this thing, it lights up an LED on an AV plug. And down here near this coil, the energy is just radiating. And this tower here is not even connect to anything. There's the wires just hanging there. And there go the lights on this. And then over here at the battery source, which on this is this uh, battery charger, when I get even near that thing, you start lighting up. If I touch it, they light up super bright. And that's one wire. That's just a single wire there, folks. There's, uh, it's two diodes, one going one way, one going the other way. And they pick up this energy. Now, this is a virtual ground, a piece of chunk of aluminum that's tied on the back of that LED panel. And it picks it up off this same way. So anyway, this is um, another one of these exciter circuits that's extremely simple. It's like Johnny's pan oscillator. Um, simple sec exciter. And only this time we're using a coil of wire, like a transformer, uh, with another coil in there that's picking up the, um, the resonance in the circuit. And just using a 1, 2, and 2, 2, 2. Now this little resistor right here is a 1 meg resistor on the base of that transistor that uh, it's not even attached. And if, if I, I just have that stuck there, I can start this by just touching that, and this will start running. Uh, Slayer Circuit, which you can see over at his website, it's G. Bluer on YouTube. He's using a 1K resistor and also um, a lead uh, tied onto the base going to a pan. I was able to do this with that particular coil without doing that. Now what I can't do is I can't light up a fluorescent tube here like he was doing. So mine isn't exactly the same, but there's my amp draw. It's about um, 50, uh, 50 milliamps or so. It's not great. It's not that wonderful. But it's, uh, it's doing, uh, doing this same thing that we've been studying, this uh, energy cohesion that if you've ever seen this happen, you just kind of scratch your head and go, what, what's this all about? Because this is not like a Tesla coil. This is not thousands of volts. This is in the hundreds of volts. And yet it's cohering the energy around these towers and such and lighting up uh, these LEDs. And it'll fill up a capacitor. It'll run a motor. It'll do almost anything you want it to do. And uh, very fascinating... Uh, subject to study. Anyway, this is a replication of Slayer's latest uh, exciter. Thanks for watching.